All right, guys, so you're probably wondering what you're looking at here. Well, this is the finished product. It is done, finally, two days later. Watch how fast this thing boots up. We're gonna push the power button right now. And it's done. That's it. That is not a hibernate mode. That is not a standby mode. That is quite literally how long it takes to boot this thing from dead off. Now I had some issues with the partitioning of the hard drive. I had some issues with the drivers. I had the uh, motherboard with bent pins, which took me almost an entire day to find a replacement board because nobody sells them. I found one on a uh, Craigslist, as I mentioned earlier, there were a, a lot of issues getting this thing together, but it's done. Let's take a look at the glass window so you can have a look at uh, what the internals look like. All right, I know it's dark, but you should still be able to get a pretty good idea of what the inside looks like. You can see it's uh, breathing white from the water pump, and the video card is breathing red. There's a Sound Blaster PCI card underneath it that also has a red glow to it. The motherboard also has glowing red lights as well. It is an absolute beast of a machine. All right, guys, so I've had a couple days to get this thing put together, and uh, I've spent several hours benchmarking it, stress testing it, um, having some fun with uh, Adobe Creative Cloud Premiere. Um, that really puts this thing to work. Uh, the 64 gigs of RAM was definitely overkill. Uh, I never end up using more than 19 gigs, so, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, it's a great machine, and I guess, you know, I have overclocked it. Um, I had it up to 4.4 gigahertz with a uh, core voltage of about 1.5 volts, um, and it was stable, but... You know, and the temperature with the water cooler was okay, but it's it's not worth it in my opinion. I, I, I benchmarked it and tried out Adobe Premiere uh, every time I overclocked it, every step of the way. And to be quite honest, guys, there wasn't enough of a gain for me to justify the extra power that it uses, the extra heat that it generates, not to mention decreasing the longevity of my uh, processor here. It's just not worth it. So as of right now, this thing is back at stock core voltage, uh, core multipliers. Everything is 100% factory. And with this water cooler on it, it stays exceptionally cool. It's very stable, runs like a beast. It absolutely does not need to be overclocked at this point. So um, with that being said, let's jump into the before and after benchmarks now. So the question now is, was this machine worth $2650? All right, and that's just for the tower and the components inside of it. That doesn't include this 
4K monitor. This doesn't include the Corsair uh, 2.1 surround sound. It doesn't include the Blue, Blue Yeti, doesn't include the camera. It's just the computer itself, about $26.50. Well, of course, the answer to that is going to vary person to person. But since I'm the one that shelled out the money, um, I'm going to say it was absolutely worth it, as you saw from the benchmarks. Guys, this thing is going to save me close to 50% in rendering time. Now, I know for some of you, like, well, that's not that. Well, it's a lot, guys. When you've got a thousand plus videos on YouTube, all right, that is a lot of time that I cannot get back. But now, in a way, I can because I'm spending half of my time on this thing editing and rendering videos as I was on the old computer. So, for that, I will say absolutely, time is invaluable. This thing was worth the 2650 any day of the week i'd do it again next time hopefully i wouldn't have so many problems and the best part of this is i built my last computer three years prior to this one and it lasted three years and did absolutely great the problem is it's no longer upgradable it's just at the end of its its life this machine here this is going to be good for well over three years all right um plenty of upgradability it's almost future proof so nothing to worry about on this one. It's one of those things when you have a business like this, that's your investment right there. It, it is what it is and uh, it's a tax write-off. And since I bought it all at the end of December, you know what I'm saying? There's a reason I waited for it. Um, so with that being said, I would also like to give a big thank you to all of my subscribers because truth is, I made quite a bit of money from my Amazon referral links that you guys use, from YouTube videos that you guys watch, and uh, referral bonuses from Uber and Lyft, and, and all kinds of different things that I have that you guys uh, jump on from time to time and, and uh, you know, sign up for things or just watching videos in general. So I'm not the type that's going to say, yeah, I bought this in your face. I'm not trying to rub it in anybody's face. I'm just showing what I'm doing to help improve the quality of my life here. And I want to thank all of you for watching and subscribing and being part of my channels um, because you're definitely a huge part of why I do what I do and how I was able to build this computer today. I'm not one of those assholes that's going to forget about the subscribers that made it all possible. So thank all of you and uh, I hope we have some great videos to come. As always, stay safe out there.